Kirkwood is a beautiful place. It is 300 acres of rolling mountain foothills, uh, very dense pine and hemlock forest. We have tons of wildlife. Uh, we have a pond that actually is filtered in from Big Pocono Creek. When you get on the property, there's this feeling that God is here, a place where it just feels a little bit closer to the spiritual aspect in the world. And so kids are motivated by that, and they can feel it, and they can talk about that. And they're in a completely safe space, but a space that challenges them to become um, a healthier version of themselves. As far as education in this country goes, it's not a perfect fit for almost anyone because we've standardized it. And I think when you look at the school to prison pipeline, I think it's a consequence of the uh, failure of the education system to reach some of those kids. So we basically round out part of what the education system doesn't provide in positive play spaces, group discussions as opposed to sitting in class for seven hours a day. And we focus a lot on being a leader through uh, servanthood, which a lot of people don't really understand the first time they're, they're faced with it. When a kid has been in this situation where really they just feel like a failure, um, or they feel like they have to be the kid that's getting attention in a negative way, when they have that positive opportunity for support, it gives them a totally different perspective on themselves that stays with them for a long time. The opportunity to go to summer camp is not one that a lot of underserved youth really have. This campaign will give us the opportunity for 100 new scholarships for campers that have uh, never attended summer camp before from at-risk communities who could really benefit from the type of different community that we're providing. Kids that may have never been able to experience themselves in an outdoor environment, um, kids that may have never considered what their faith journey is. It's 100 more opportunities for us to grow positive identities in kids who will exhibit things like recidivism, um, kids who may not be able to get out of their environment for long enough to create an identity separate to something that's inherently negative.